First, our top story tonight, Colorado Congressman Tom Tancredo's speech on illegal immigration last night at Michigan State University, sponsored by the MSU College Republicans and the Young Americans for Freedom, turned ugly when protesters crashed this event. We are very dissatisfied with Michigan State University. We are very Now, two fire alarms were pulled during the speech, and the building had to be evacuated. The melee continued outside where the protesters and the event sponsors scuffled with each other. Congressman Tom Tancredo, he joins us now with more on what happened at last night's events. Congressman, glad to see you got out okay. Uh, this is, this is fascinating that happened on a college campus. Tell us everything that happened. Well, I think you pretty well encapsulated it, but it, the irony uh, was the fact that it, we were at a, a law school, Sean. I mean, a law school, and at a law school, there were a group of people that, that actually said on their website that they were going to shut us down, that they were going to stop me from being able to speak. Now, everybody, of course, has the right to protest, and they did, but it's amazing to me that here we were, and, and again, I say ironic, and a, and a law school and the uh, campus in the univer at uh, in in University of, of, Mich uh, of uh, Michigan, Michigan State University, I should say, and uh, they were saying I couldn't speak. Uh, it was a it was a very interesting evening, that's for sure. You know, you know, Congressman, I, I'm very aware of your message, and I am in agreement with you. This is about national security. Now we have room for plenty of disagreement. This show is, you know, the whole basis of this show is about disagreeing with Alan, but well, the other way what, what, what's, frightening, <laughs> what's frightening here is what's really talking about one issue. You support immigration, but you want it legal. You see the susceptibility, if we don't control our borders, that enemies of this country have the ability to walk across. The idea, though, that people won't allow you to express it is really chilling, and that's what they were and trying to do. That's, that's correct. And here's the thing. This issue, perhaps above all others, desperately needs discussion and debate. And we as a country have to do this, Bill. I mean, I, Sean, it is, a, it is an important thing for us to be involved with. It, it is an important discussion topic. And so it should happen in colleges all right. over the country. It should happen in, you know, in homes all over the country. It, happen, it should happen on television stations. We should never be tr stopping this discussion from going on. It's imperative that we talk me, about it. Let me ask you this. One of the Young Americans for Freedom, the chairman, is a, is a kid by the name of Kyle Bristow. Yeah. Uh, he says that it was so despicable, the conduct, he claims he was, people were spitting on him, cursing at him. What happened specifically with you, and did you ever feel at any point that you were in danger and that you needed to stop speaking? No, no the, 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 the police, the uh, university police were great. Um, they, they were, the way we, they brought me in and, and we really avoided, I was able to avoid most of that stuff. The, the distressing part, or the, the one that was really disruptive, is when they pulled the fire alarm for the second time, and that's while I was trying to speak. They had done it once, they had to sweep the entire building, they had to shut down all the classes that were going on in the building, right. take everybody out of the building, bring a dog through, it was a mess. But when I got there, the, the, the things had calmed down to a certain extent, and all they did was, again, pull right. the fire alarm, had to stop and go through right. the whole thing. What, what do you think it is? You know, considering, to me, I think you could disagree on a lot of things. I think the idea that you secure your border to secure your, your destiny is such a basic thing. As you listen to them and as you were watching this as they tried to shut you down, you know, what is their main argument? That America should have open borders, that anybody should be able to cross over anytime they want, and that anybody that opposes that is a, is a racist? Is that the, the mentality against you? Well. Uh, of course, Sean, there wasn't an awful lot of discussion going on. There was just a lot of screaming going on. So uh, their only message was, he's a racist. This is part of the KKK. You know, they had the signs and they were screaming stuff that some of it I couldn't even understand. They were, you know, there's a lot of, of noise. Their point is, look, I, I am coming with a message they don't like hearing. And they don't think anybody else should hear. Hey, Congressman, and, I don't agree with the thing you say, yes. but I'm always happy to have you on because I think debate is part of the American way yeah. and I don't like the fact that people on my side politically 
want to squelch free speech and not allow you to be heard. I think the more you heard, the better I look. But you know, that's. Uh, <laughs> well, there are people that that agree that that's true. Uh, you know, in fact, we've invited you a couple of times on my radio show, and you were booked, and you never came on, even though we had you well, booked I've been on the show. Now we we've, we've we've done. I've done your show a couple of times, and I tell you the truth, I didn't. It wasn't because I was trying to avoid it. If I wasn't on, it was because I couldn't do it. But my point is, we want to give you a platform. And uh, did we just? Did the satellite just go down? And, uh, we th Back we up again. We thought maybe some gremlin got in there, didn't there want you to go. be heard for there a second. There you go. <laughs> see, you, you, just, uh, you see what's happening to us and around you, here? In this, you've this gotten into trouble, though, not with even those on your own side. Didn't Karl Rove once tell you you shouldn't darken the doorstep of the he White did. House again? He, he, he most certainly did. That was a few years ago. And you know what? I haven't. Uh, the, but the, you're right. I certainly have made uh, some enemies even in my own party. I know people have been critical. The president is critical of my position on this. The leadership of the House was for a long time. We were actually able to make some progress in the House of Representatives. As you probably know, we actually passed a bill, a very good immigration bill last year. Didn't make it through the Senate. Things have changed a little, had changed a little bit in the House. You never made but up, though, you, with the White right. House, right? Afraid not. Afraid we're still uh, not going to Because I'm on their proceed. side of immigration. Well, let me ask you this. You recently yeah. called Miami a third world country, to yeah. which Jeb Bush, the governor of Florida, said, what a nut about you. Yeah. What's your reaction use to the, Jeb Bush's? N -word. Did he use the N-word there? Yes, did you he say, did. Oh, what a nut. That's right. Right, they I'll used that you. word. He, he, he wrote me a letter, and, um, and it was great. I mean, it was very interesting. I, I wrote him back, and one of the things he said was that we ha he said, we prize diversity in, in Florida and especially in Miami, and, you know, we celebrated it. And, and I wrote back and I said, diversity can be a great thing, and we can all celebrate diversity, but it becomes a problem when it is the only thing that you push. It is nothing that holds a community together. Diversity is great, but when it becomes the only value of the community, that's when you've got some problems. And that's what's happening in places like Miami and, frankly, many others around the country. Do you really country. believe Miami is a third world country? Well, you know, your every, we got into an argument about what is the definition of a third world country. And when I, I say, look, when you come into this country, you have massive immigration, you've got into a, a relatively small part, of, you know, into a confined geographic area. Um, the, the language that is spoken is not English. Um, the, the separation between rich and poor is enormous. I mean, you've got these beautiful, of course, condominiums and apartments and, and, uh, and resorts on one side, and you get, you get a mile off of the interstate either way, and you are in almost what you could call a different world, a third world country. It is the fact. Anybody who's been there sees it, and because I say it, I get into a lot of trouble. But hey, what's new about that? Appreciate you being on, Congressman. Thank you very much. And still Thank to you, come.